ที่ห้าได้มาจะพบพบมันได้การยึดทางคารอนิตยาได้มาในเทหอบีบาทีนี้แท้แท้ที่นี่เป็นโจทย์แล้วที่นี่คันนักเชื่อมเราอีกทีนี้จะเราดูเที่ยวมาตัวเรามาดูเที่ยวทะเลนี่ดูจีนอะไรเนี่ยงานเราดูยูชีเลยดูเซกเมนซาเบียวตีจิงเบียวนะฮะโอ้ไลชาเลยไลชาเขาจะมีสักกุยาวะมีทำเดียวมีสักกุยาวะมีสักสิ่งเราชี้ลงมาโอ้มีเอียเทเรปุ่นมีเรื่องสุ่ยมาตัวแทนตัวยาวะตัวแทนมาดูดีดีหายยูยูเนี่ยอะไรเนี่ยคือเล่มที่อยู่สุดด้วยคือเรื่องที่เราจีจีเนี่ยค่ะอันนั้นก็จีอันนั้นก็อันนั้นก็จีเรื่องเจ้าเสียสุดเรื่องสุดทั้งสิ้นนั่นเป็นเรื่องนี้เป็นเรื่องจีจีเนี่ยสิครับเป็นเรื่องอาการของเจ้าเนี่ยนั่นเองค่ะเนี่ยเนี่ยฮะจีนมองมาดูเป็นลมมาดูเป็นท่าเนี่ยท่าเนี่ยอันนี้นั่นจีกันจะพบจุดนั้น Lalu ni mana lagi? Lalu 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 nak tu? Anak buat TV lor, jangan lagi bawa malam tu. Kepi, nanti jangan saya kepian. Nampak jangan kau di mana si si ni, nanti si ni, si ni si si ni. Tuan ada cakap ngan lu ni. Lu tidak kaya lama, tu kan? ตรงนามาเจ้าเสร็จมีชีวิตไปเนี่ยเขาเลยมีชีวิตไปเนี่ยสกัดโจ้เองนั่นจ้ะสุรุยเนี่ยมันตีเจ้าเสร็จใช่ไหมมันตีบุสุรักะมันตีบุสุรักะโมหะเวทะเจ้าเสร็จการโทษไอ้โทษตาเนี่ยกว่ารู้แอกโลดโทษตาเนี่ยรู้แอกโลดเนี่ยยังทำได้เนี่ยโลภาเนี่ยรู้แอกโลดเนี่ยยังทำได้เนี่ยมานาเนี่ยรู้แอกโลดเนี่ยมันยังทำได้เนี่ย Kau tingkah lagi dek wisa bisia, tingkah lagi tu macam ni, macam ni. Ada ni, tu si cawre, oh, ada dor mandi dek ni, tu lah, tu kan, di di, aduh kau nak cai ni tu tua, tu si tu tiap ni. Ay, aduh kau cai ni tu dia lembek, tu kau aduh ni ni kan tu, tu kau cai ni tu tu si tu kan ni, ni ni tu si. พวกมันเลยเจ้าเห็นแต่เสียเห็นตัวเลยพวกมันเลยเจ้าพวกมันว่าตุนยาลงมาดูเองอยู่ไหนเต็มไปในโคกเจ็ดเลยพอดีไหมโอ้มสามสิบตุนยาเชียร์เรามาลุ้นเลยโอ้ทว่าบุแล้วในเราที่เจอเรามาลุ้นมาเลยพอดีไหมลุ้นมาเลยลุ้นพี่รถน้ำแม่ที่อยู่เลย哎，你还没有了。这是一年的几年，你干的这个交税，交税，一千斤嘞，单价嘞。过后不，不弄嘛，先比如，都没有，哎，比如，先比如，没退呢，没退呢呢，这是一年提出呢，不就那那的是，比如。คือมาโตจริงเราโตเสียมียังไม่ชิดเราเราโลมาสมิติและนั่นมันโดนเราคือตัวพงโดนกายมาโดนโตเนี่ยเลยทียิปเลนที่พลาสติกโตจริงที่พลาสติกกันยังเจ็บมาสมมติก็เอ็งในรถไฟกว่าปีทำที่พลาสติกกันโดนมาปีที่ไม่เลยมาปีเป็นยาวยาวของเดนนี่เดนนี่เราก็เล่าดีที่พลาสติกเอง Produced. Okay. I don't. Come on, Hena. What the Syria did? How did my dear man? How did my dear man? I don't. Jensen Haji. That's what I got. The water from me. Okay. T T. จะหันบอลมาปะนะปวดหัวไม่เสร็จทำให้ตัวยังเสร็จกันเดี๋ยวโลกการเราเองโลกการเนี่ยขนาดเสียอยู่นะขนาดเสียอย่างนี
，爱听江湖没叫，来这种带一点蛮那种没叫五十年，咱们叫谁来去啊？八路没叫呢，就看那些伢子，哦，对嘛，这路来这种带伢，我多大钱领多，多大内事啊？我看你啊，哎，你看那些女伢子，多大也内事啊？我看你啊。多大个？啊，多大是可能是个周卡的多嘛？啊，三年、四三年的，常常就六九，可能是。就你这个保姆有的可能就是五几单，高那点，高那点。你常走，我等在嘛？呃，怎么也没加入嘛？哎呀妈！遗憾的，到比如第二天那个时候。这边好嘛？第二天也，这边不嘛？那天没奶奶都漂亮，没奶奶，没奶奶在看着，就说哦，看哪里呢？就拍的，家人在看着，俺们边上，哎哎，边上是比较潮的，反正遗憾的，特别比较，那时候也是偏远的，那时候偏远比较，走路马路上是看那些样子的，走路过。家嘛，强大不？走路嘛，走开些的。哎呀，走路家嘛，强大不？对，走路外飞外飞。哎呀，那个身上的肉，走路过面上塌吧。啊，谁呢？哎，那谁呀？哎，那将来看见了，哎，这就将来看见了，看那些样子，看那些样，看那看那些样子，看见了，眼着了呀。那不走嘛，就看。哎，你咋走？地图图里有有来有点，谁他妈来路过看见？ Anasya Bishito. Oso Lula ka. Kanashin Bishibu Suen, Kanashin ka. Dokha ne Kanak Lota. Dokha ne Kanak Lota. Dokha ne Kanak Lota in Karu Nam Shikari. Dokha ne Kanak Lota in Muti Dam Shikari. Di Muti Kanashin Bishibu Suen. Daimji Ayan Chita Suri Lula Lula Yam Shita. Time to go, Congress will buy it. They get time to stay with you. How do you know? I go through Yam Chita, I clear it out soon. Go ahead and then I'm going to move it. And how? Oh, I know how to do it. Oh, Jason, I did it. Me, that's what I'm going to do. ผมมองปีเกิดเลยเนี่ยเราอ่านเนี่ยความโตเลยส่วนเราอ่านยากจิตเนี่ยเราอ่านเนี่ยความโตเลยส่วนเราอ่านยากจิตเนี่ยเรา
แต่ก็จะมีอโจรมีน้ำเลยนะฉันนั้นก็คือแอนเชนจิตแม้จะเป็นแอนเชนจิตเอลีเทมานี่ผมรักแอนเชนจิตมากจิมบะเอเรียนยากมากจิมบะเอเรียนยากมากเอเนรูปโจรแล้วคอมมิวนิเคชันชั้นนั้นจะได้นะคอมมิวนิเคชันชั้นนั้นจะอสุยานพิบูจาเลมียาจารย์มาอยู่มานุมาจารย์มาอยู่มีมาในตอนมีจารย์มาอยู่เป็นที่รู้ขณะเช่นนี้เปลี่ยนมาเลยถ้าเราไม่ได้ทำสุรานุกรรมขณะเช่นอยู่เราจะแต่เงี้ยจริงๆเสียสุรขณะเช่นเสียได้ที่รู้เดียวเนี่ย personality ของกูจะได้ Tu ye piu mu tu ku ku cai de, tu nama ku sikit apa je, sikit mana dojo apa je, tak kena je ya, kena je ya. Ada apa? Mesui ku ada apa? Mesui ni mana? Mesui ni sekarang orang tua di ni dah ni lah, mesui dah sekarang orang tua ni dah ni lah. Tapi kalau nak mudi lah, ada, um ni dah ye. Ati ibu ini, orang nak kena sih yang dia. Di kena sih macam yang saya tu, lau yogi dia mandi di mana you feel very lonely. Karena sedih malu, ada ati jadi kan. Kau nak jadi apa ya? Kau orang mah dia jenis ni cik, orang yang suka terbaik jenis ni. Ada sedikit mana, tiga ni tu mungkin mana. Baju solo, loka tak seria. Tuh niat tu, jinai. Nau, aduh lepas ni, boleh tak seria? Boleh mana? Ada lepas, no. Mimi itu terubah tu, eh, integrate lo dah. Ada. Tuh niat ye, doka cah. Tuh niat ye, doka cah nampu cah. อะไรไปดูยี่บีโร่กรุณาเรียนเพื่อนมุริดาเรียนเพื่อนปีนี้ตัวบัวมาโอ้งาบัวสิลูกเองเนี่ยเราจะเอาเลยเนี่ยดูตัวเราจะเอาเลยเขาขนาดเช่นอยู่จังเนี่ยอันนี้ซาจีอะไรขนาดเช่นเนี่ยเดาขาจีอะไรขนาดเช่นเนี่ยอันนั้นตาจีอะไรขนาดเช่นเนี่ยงาเดียวเทมหกมาแล้วนะโทษอะไรงาเดียวเทมหกมาเราดูได้ดูได้สี่เดือน哎，要么拿这些没事了，哎，那你拿这个，拿这个，哥，多大批的来看嘛？这家里多大没事，过天要被多大批的水的，对吧？哎，颜色呢？颜色呢？哥，颜色好好的了，第二天来看嘛。Jai Dhyan Thang Hai, Ek Nai Dhyan Khaan, Sain Nhit, Sain Nhit, Sain Nhit. Bajau Sain Nhit Dharam Suru. Kua Hau Kuu, Ek Nai Dhyan Lam Khaan, Khaan Ai Vop Vimei Nai Suru Lam Khaan. Nath Kuu Ka, Ma Ek Nai Dhyan Tu Nyat, Nyan Lai Hai, Shet Sain. Shet Dhyan Dhyan, Ek Nai Dhyan Thang Ma, Nga Tho Thay Dhyan. Amana jika nak buat tanah leh apa aje, kru nak cek leh, kru nak cek mana? Eh, emeris cek dah suruh nak cek, dah tahu tak cek mana? Tahu tak cek mana? Tahu kau yang kau sana, cek kau ni cuma kau mau sebab kau udah selesai beri saya ini mana? Yang ni apa? ยาหอบพี่รอกเทียนไทยเนี่ยผมว่าไอ้เนี่ยไอ้มาตรงคุณยามนั้นเล็กคุณยามนั้นคือเทเนี่ยก็เป็นมันนายว่าเราเทียน
ikke helt for dag løb. Så han sagde, at der ikke har ikke sammen med de der løb. Nu er der ikke sammen med de der løb. Det tager jeg om at håbe om det. Jeg siger, at jeg ikke har ikke sammen med de der løb. Det vil du have sagt, at jeg bor godt. Det vil du have ikke sammen med de der løb. Jeg tror, når det er jo det, at håbe om det, så er det sikkert, at jeg ikke har ikke sammen med de der løb. Jeg tror, at jeg ikke har ikke sammen med de der løb. Mà hồi nó ấy, ấy ngay nó có personal life skill đó. Mà cô lại chỉ đàn mình muốn đi đàn lâu đẹp rồi đấy. Cô ấy ảm như mù đấy, cô ấy tự khả đi. Ấy là đấy rồi. Mà nó nói rồi, chị bị đó, muốn đi đàn rồi. Ấy này bị đó. Ấy bị đó, chê, chê mà, chê mà. Nó bánh chả rồi rồi, universal aspect. Ấy là tiêu thêm khổ. Soalnya ini yang itu, saya tuan akan cari macam mana? Pijat lem sini ni, kuah gula gom ni, dah ni mana lem sini boleh kita makan? Saya kau tak kau saya bilang saya tak pernah mesti mesti dah jadi tu. Saya tak pernah mesti. Bukan, kalau Thai gula, kalau Thai makan lem sini, jodoh. ตีเองอ่ะเลยตีเองก็มาเล่นดีกว่าที่ชาวนี่เล่นกว่าตีเองมาสิงหาเลยแต่เป็นเด็กชอบเลยไอ้รอกไทยเนี่ยยามาเย
ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้
ูรีดับเช่นไงมูรีดับเช่นไงเนี่ยอีกเยอะอายังคนเล่นมีเจ็ดเล่นมีเจ็ดเจ็ดอะไรเจ้าอีฮะลิจินเนี่ยสุยอัลลูนีเนี่ยเอกามิสริอาลีเนบาร์เรโรธาลีเนบาร์เจ้าสิดีเนบาร์เจ้าสิดเนี่ยลูลูนีเนี่ยดูว่า confidence ก็ยังจริงเนี่ย So you know already what we are going to do now. We are going to extend uh, to number five earlier in the morning. Uh, we did some exercise from group one to group three, trying to connect with the positive thing, the successes, the achievements, the happiness, the joy of. Uh, the first three groups is very important to develop this, to develop this uh, um, awareness of joy, awareness of joyful fe feeling, to sharpen this, to strengthen this, to consolidate this. This is very important. Because um, sometimes people take excitement for happiness, <coughs> and without excitement, they cannot imagine what happiness would be, what joyful feeling would be. That's a very immature mind, very immature uh, emotion. <coughs> Just for children, they can't understand. Happiness, okay, without excitement. So you have to excite them all the time, and their attention span is very short. Their brain is not fully developed yet. But excitement, excitement is associated with something new. Nothing can remain new forever. I was asked uh, in the last retreat in Budapest. It's a very strange question for a Buddhist monk, but nevertheless, okay, I was confronted. Um, how do you how do you um, retain your excitement uh, in a relationship? I said, I don't know. I'm the last person you should ask. <laughs> you should know that. But then I remember one Burmese poem. Jali, haoli, haoli, gaoli, gaoli, did. Jali, haoli, haoli, gaoli, gaoli, did. Sorry to. To uh, um, recite his Burmese uh, uh, poem, it, it, uh, I'm going to translate it. Uh, the longer something goes, okay, um, how would you say, Jali, how many? The older it becomes. The, the longer it goes, okay, the, old, the older it, 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 it becomes. The older it it gets, okay, the better it becomes. This is where the secret lies. How many countless Renyama secrets do you check? The Choka, how many countless Moho? Joka, how many Mokauni? How many Mokauni? Secret, so at a crossroad, how many come up? Counter got to Amra, Mokauni got to Amra. Relationships are many a form of your relation to Kuga, Kalili, and to your Kazazi, and relationship. And relationship, you have to form that relationship. Okay, a, 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 so a, a baby, has a, a toddler, and then, and his toddler. They, I mean, the, the toddler has to form relationship 
with the toy. And uh, some children, okay, until they are 17, 18, uh, they have only one toy that they got from their parents and they treasure them. And I would say that those children, they are emotionally steady. But those who have to change, I mean, who change their toy very often, who don't have the, the time to develop a relationship with their toy. For them, the older it gets, the more disinterested, the more boring, the more boring it becomes. But for the child who has uh, uh, has been able to form, who is given space and time to form a relationship with that toy, although the toy is getting older and older. Okay. The older it gets, the better it becomes. The better it becomes, the newer it gets. You can see the loop. You're going to save a lot of money if your handbag, okay, the older it gets, the better it becomes. Okay, you're going to save lots of money. Look, um, the relationship that that we have, maybe we we trying to form a relationship with two um, two experiences, and we try to get as non-personal as possible. We start from something very personal. Number one is very personal. You start from your success. But as you go to the success of your family members, your friends, your colleagues, a neutral person, and any again, you come to see that you are not unique anymore. So at that point, you don't need to feel excitement. You don't need to feel excited. Without excitement, you can feel joyful. So in um, today's practice, okay, when you do mudita meditation, you're not going to have any excitement. But you can see the calmness, the joyful feeling. Okay. You can't mistake that, you can feel that. So at least today, if you can distinguish between excitement and happiness, this is worth the effort. The excitement is associated with something new, something magical. And that magic we work only once or twice when something is new. After that, it won't work anymore. If you have to repeat that master back magic, it's very expensive. It's very expensive. The experience in the addiction. Addiction. People, when they uh, take alcohol, the first time, with the effect is very strong. But the more they take, um, the less effective okay, that alcohol, the chemical in the alcohol will become. 
because the dream we have lost is magic. So it, it wouldn't give you the effect of, of, of blocking the uh, negative thoughts, the disturbing thoughts of your mind anymore. You only get the side effect from the dream. So addiction, the same thing will work. Okay. Now, if we if we do this uh, mutita meditation, not only that we will become grateful to anything that we have. We already talk about this in the morning. But we become contented. This is very important. Contentment. Because we are quite happy with what we have. We feel quite complete with what we have. Adequate with what we have. So we are going to start again. We are going to do about 20 minutes of practice. And this time, trying to go from number one to number five. <clears throat> if there is any emotional reaction, you stop mutita, you bring in Satipatthana so mindfulness meditation to accept, register, recognize the reaction. Go back to primary object which is rising and falling on the abdomen. Work on that reaction. Once the mind is settled, then you can go back to mudita.
吃，做落一只嗯小麦的的，做第二个奥尼尔木呃叫小木的地位，味道关系，就在那食起嘛。阿扎的是来看看我的宝拉的，哎，阿扎的好，我的宝拉的。阿扎，我的宝拉的。阿扎的，阿扎的呀。那个，阿扎的，阿扎的是皮宝拉的卡，我我的宝拉的。我我的宝拉，都我的宝拉。ตัวความเป็นผู้ชายเนี่ยจีจีพี่รู้ไอ้มาว่า negative reaction ที่สีแล้วมีสีแล้วมีสีเป็นอาจารย์เสพเสพเรื่องสีเนี่ยสวยงามพยายามเข้าพยายามเข้าโอ้พยายามสู้สู้ไปนะดิเอเยงอ่ะพยายามจะสู้กันเอาพยายามจะสู้อาจารย์รู้อาจารย์อาจารย์รู้ไปคุยานดับเชนไม่ยืน Di dalam mobil, di mana sacrifice lama, dulu di dalam mobilnya, kuni nang lu suri lagi. Di kau lo, dokan di kue aja mugu, dokan ni roda. You have to tie in with it. Kita sesat, tuh ya. Lu dia nak naik jiran, aja itu tu tu dia mesti. รู้เท่าจุนยาปุ่นยาคุณยินเนี่ยอาจารย์สุริยะพยายามคำอาจารย์สุริยะก็ตัวพาลูกอาจารย์สุริยะรู้เท่าตัวจูซ่าเนี่ยจูซ่าลูกตัวซ่าไปเอาเงินเนี่ยจูซ่าลูกตัวลูกนั้นคุยมาเอาเงินเนี่ยตัวมวยมาเอาเงินเนี่ยอะไรกันตัวเย่ลูกนักวิทยา我讲阿扎，你慢慢学，哎个，哎个，几遍咯，没得难学。但是，但比如没得难学的那个，都老难学呀耶，一点不会。哎，老难学一点不会呢呢，哎个，都看你老难呢，哎，都看你老难的，哎，教我们老难的，都看你老难说的，看别的难学些呢。Jangan ikat dengan pesen beda, lumui jangan pesen beda, sabi ya jangan pesen beda, sepan sah jangan pesen beda. Wei je jangan pesen beda, lalu jangan pesen terus terus ke pesen apa pesen? Ada bodoh ni, kalau dunia ada apa pesen ni nak apa pesen? Dah dia ajar saya. If you are the question, if you're inspired by someone, uh, you feel good about that, okay, through that inspiration. Uh, it is mudita, but I consider this to be part of mudita. But mud here, when we become inspired and we admire someone for, for their success, now we can admire the effort. We can also admire the result of that effort. Now, to admire the effort, this is quite, quite uh, innocent. But when it comes to uh, being inspired about the impact of their work, Say somebody is very famous in Hollywood, and if you, okay, so admire that person, admire what, admire the fame. That's something else. So, to make it um, wholesome, we always have to tie in okay, to tie our mudita in with uh, the form of the truth. There's a dukkha niroda or the cessation of suffering or solving problem, reducing problem. If a person's success is about reducing his own suffering, well, this is very good. 
if he can help reduce the problem with his family eating better. If he can do better than that, this is excellent. You see, so we have to tie in uh, Karuna or Mudita with uh, Dukkha Niroda, the third noble truth. I usually work with the medical professional in these days. So I used to also have a lot of friends who are in the Christian religion. They used to ask, what is the meditation? What should I answer in the simple way to understand? They usually think meditation is just clear your mind and nothing more. What is your answer? Huh? You want a short or long answer? <laughs> I mention it in a simple way. We have to understand that in Christianity there is a meditation tradition. The Desert Father, like uh, Saint Anthony, you know, so he lived in the desert in Syria in you know, those days and meditated. He still had many monasteries in Egypt belonging to the Coptic uh, Christians. And then contemplative tradition um, in the early days in, in, in Rome. Um, last year in July, I was in Spain attending a conference on religion or on meditation between Buddhism and a branch of Catholicism. That's what they call Carmelite order. It is, uh, if you are aware of this, it, it's called St. Teresa of Avila. So they have their university, and I participated in that and presented uh, Theravada Buddhist meditation. And um, there are other Buddhist uh, scholars and meditation teachers as well. So we actually exchange these things. That's why I ask you if you want a long answer. <laughs> I'm going to keep you here the whole day. <laughs> As you wish, but uh, from Buddhist point of view, meditation is about cultivating the mind, cultivating wisdom and compassion. This is in short. Because we believe the mind is very powerful. Mind is very powerful to uh, become constructive or destructive. <coughs> so, if we train our mind, we purify our emotion, our thought, then our mind can only become constructive for ourselves, for the whole society. Otherwise, our mind, maybe Buddhist mind, maybe Christian mind, maybe Hindu mind, uh, a Muslim mind, uh, a non-believer's mind, with negative emotion can only become destructive. So when we say kudu, akudu, we are talking about skillful mind and unskillful mind. So when we do meditation, okay, we kind of calm the mind so that the mind can examine itself. In Christianity, meditation is about calming yourself, about contemplating on God, and 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 um, uh, uh, 
just so that you become concentrated, undisturbed by distractions. And in terms of the focus, God is very much the center of that. For us, we do meditation because we want to know more about our mind. If we know how it works, then we can, can transform this from negative to positive. If you see, I mean, under, if, if, if you're at work and under pressure, a lot of pressure, a lot of demands, and people are appreciating what you're doing, that might get to you, that might affect you. But you can also use that to develop more compassion, more wisdom into human life, into human being, human life. If you do that, you're not going to give up, you're not going to let the negative um, environment criticism affect you. If, if you're not affected, then you can serve more people, more community. In technical terms, we call this reducing suffering. The aim of meditation is reducing suffering. Another word for reducing suffering is called nipa, nibbana, nibbana, nipa. Okay, reducing uh, suffering. Whatever we say, it doesn't cause you suffering. Anymore. Whether you get your way. It doesn't affect you anymore. We aim that we aim to, to achieve that ideal uh, uh, situation. For us, it's not about uniting with anyone or reunion with uh, any uh, divine being. That's that's not that's not the aim of the Buddhist meditation. I think um, for your reference, uh, most of these books, they are published in America, actually. You can Google them. Okay. Author trait, science review how meditation changes your mind, brain, and body. Um, we have a trait. I mean, a pattern, how we act, how we interact with people. Um, there are some negative um, traits in that as well. So th this one is so how we can use meditation and change our own, okay, from negative to positive. In doing so, we will be causing less trouble to others. Instead, who will be in a position to help other people more. You can see this is the brain wave, the alpha in the brain. This is from research. So you can just easily Google that and, and plenty on YouTube as well. So, so um, Hong Kong, are you saying it, this is like a practice in the meditation can uh, impact uh, like uh, everybody one life instead of like uh, getting the um, the divine wisdom and they can uh, like uh, find the like a uh, peace and then reducing the daily stressful like and uh, helping helping out each other. Yes, uh, because as I choose, as I mean Buddhism is concerned with with human being more here and now. We don't really need to wait until next life to have divine wisdom, to have divine qualities. What we have been practicing yesterday and today, compassion and joyful feeling, these two, they are considered divine qualities. You don't really need to be a divine being. Here and now, on earth, okay, as a human being, you can have this. And very simple, you know, you just share your pain with others and share other people's pain, karuna. 
You share your joy with others and share other people's joy. Mudita, that's all you have to do. If you can do that, you can cause no harm to anyone. You see? And um, this is a risk. Uh, 2009 uh, Nobel Prize winning book okay, from Buckley is a professor Elizabeth Blackman telling me effect. This is to study um, in part okay, how meditation changes your DNA. Telomere is the end of your cell. That's just true. Yeah. Uh, the end of your cell. And uh, two people here, Lena and Lisa, this is from the research. The same social condition. In their early 40s, single mother, both with two kids, but one looks about 60, the other looks maybe late 20. Okay, the appearance looks so different. Why? One is very good at stress management, using meditation, perhaps yoga also. The other, whenever she has a bit of stress, she will top it up. So she looks a lot older than she is. The scientific finding is that um, your telomere, telomere I mean, if you don't deal with stress well, the academia is shortly. If you have uh, good stress management you know, with uh, compassion, mindfulness, uh, mujita, then your academia okay, is lonely. I. I don't want to explain the changes in the protein, you know, within the, <laughs> the DNA. And so you can read this also, it's, it's, it's very easy. Um, <clears throat> this is imagine, or well, this is envisaged in the Siddhipatthana, so the Dibhanata, at the beginning. Meditation, mindfulness meditation is to reduce physical suffering and mental suffering. This is one of the, the benefits of the meditation that the Buddha guaranteed, shall we say, guarantee. I accepted um, Pomong. I do have a personal experience on that. Even then, like for example, yesterday I moved uh, from one place to another place and then my body is physically suffering. So every day I might do the meditation for myself for at least one hour, not not less than one hour, even though I have a busy schedule. So um, next day I feel like you know, all my soul after the meditation, you can literally feel that this that stuff is go away. This is all the physical painful um, suffering is gone away. It is a physical proof not only the like a mental proof mental proof is i'm totally accepted but so um i do have a let's go back to the meditation nowadays meditation in the buddhist way is very popular in international wise and worldwide and also draw a lot of attention from the uh, foreigner and other religions right now and a lot of people seeing it, the benefit and impact is a, is a um, good way um, seeing it by doing the meditation. So some people, are, I, I don't say some, most of the one bit organization thinking about it, they're going to adapt it, the meditation and then let the people like it, meditate it and also worldwide, uh, people got, you know, like uh, reduce the suffering and get to know that they might have another intention, but Buddhist intention is 
not only for only for the um, like get, getting the divine, it is for the purposely is you achieve and reduce your stress and achieve to the nirvana in the peaceful find a peacefulness. As an other other people thinking other religious, they are like trying to adapt in the meditation of the Buddhism, but in another way they try to implant so people can follow the meditation. Do you really think uh, the Pomon, that uh, that achievement, all the worldwide are practicing the med meditation? What do you see in the final result? That all the people can find I, the enlightenment or they I, are in the chaos? I have no idea what the final result would be. <laughs> no idea at all, I'm sorry. But I have no fear that people take Buddhist meditation and practice it in their own way. I have no problem with that. I rejoice in the effort. Somebody may not say, okay, I want to give this book to you. Uh, one person may say, I want to donate this book to you. I want to achieve Nirvana. Nirvana is your or Nirvana is your one person. Another person just come and say, Hi, have you read this book? Uh, you fancy having this one? I see these two people as walking the same path. If you, okay, have the courage to share something with other people, I think you are moving closer to your neighbor. Whether you see it that way or whether you see it that way or not, because you are reducing your dog. You see? That's true. Um, um, what we announce, the PR, the publicity, is not very important. Okay, the action is more important. It speaks louder. I may say, neighbor, that is your hobby. And if someone comes and argue with me, if I get angry, now this neighbor, that is your hobby, is going backward. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can I ask a two more question? So um, this is like another one is I also met with the um, the rabbi from the Jewish Judaism, and then I sit down and ask about it what I like to know, and then I ask one day, and then the, um, because I'm also studying the like um, the neurologies and neuroscience, and uh, so I'm like asking. I don't really know what is their Judaism is, what did they believe in, you know? Uh, what did, how did they are practicing in uh, their religion? I don't really know. And uh, so I asked the rabbi as a kind of a friend, as like a friend, and I said, do you know where did the mind exist? So he answered me, replied me back, Homo. He really believed. I don't know that it's like a, their, um, study Bible uh, tell him the, the truth or not, I don't really know. And then he just mentioned his mind is somewhere between brain and the heart. So according to the uh, Buddhism, how you would like to answer that question? Where is the mind exit? Short answer, long answer. <laughs> Simple answer for <laughs> Between brain and heart, he is talking about the base of the mind. He is not talking about the mindset. I want to correct. He may be saying that's the mind, but you know, physical body and the mind they are two different things. Um, I, I think I'm going to recommend you one book. I have to recommend you this book, The Mind, the Brain. Okay, this is from UC Area Medical School. Medical School. Um, this professor he was a student of Seattle who did an effort. This book is also dedicated to Seattle who did an effort as well. Um, uh, the, the mind and the brain, this one, is an old argument. Uh, old argument, so I don't want to repeat this because a lot has been written on this. 
But simply put, Buddhist theory of mind, Buddhist philosophy of mind is that the mind is not a static, it's not a thing. The mind is a process of consciousness. Even consciousness is not a thing. It's not a thing that you can hold and show you like this. It's not, it's not static. It's psychotic in, in the physics term. It's not static, it's like it's a process. Is that the motion you want to say? Motion processing? Um, the word motion is we use for material. So I don't, I'm reluctant to use this word. Okay. But I just want to use the word process, which is sufficient. A process of conditioning. Now, when you hear me, when you hear me speaking, the condition is that you can your ears, your attention, my voice. When those three things, when they come together, there is what we call ear consciousness. The consciousness that has ear as its base. But when you see me sitting here, your eyes, your attention, your eyes are physical, your attention is psychological. And then me as a visual object sitting here, those three things, and, and perhaps also the light. When they come together, conditioning, then one mind arises. That's called I consciousness. Okay? Consciousness is the function of the mind. You can only study the mind, you can only know about the mind through its function. So the mind is everywhere in the world. Okay, Pomo. And in that case, um, if it's someone who is blind, it can also have the consciousness too. Yeah. May not be eye consciousness, but ear consciousness. I want you to read um, um, A famous uh, neurosurgeon from New York, uh, from England, that he migrated here. I can't recall his name. A neurosurgeon, okay. Uh, he has written a lot about his patient. And one of them is uh, someone who got blind at the age of maybe eight. He was operating at the age of 45. And he showed the process, how he trained. And, and you can read this, this and then connect it with um, Buddhist understanding of the mind. It's very similar. So how about unconsciousness, people? Pardon? It's unconscious. It's called Un people. Unconscious. Unconscious people, there is um, um, one part of mind, okay? We call this continuum. Continuum means just to maintain the process of the mind but there is no ability to perceive things. When we say consciousness, means the ability to perceive things. When we sleep, that kind of consciousness is going on. Okay, that, uh, that kind of mind is going on, but we are not able to perceive anything around us. We are able to perceive that. So that's similar to that mind. You call that, we can say, in vita. But one can just bowing say. Um, the consciousness is bowing say. No, the the unconscious mind. Unconscious mind is bowing say. Yeah. But more regarding to the like a uh, bowing say the unconscious mind, I also like um, coming up with the when we born since in the like uh, our like uh, as like a fetus in the our mother womb. And then we already have uh, that concept of unconscious already. The Bowen state already born with that. And then and that one is we grow and then until to our death. And then that Bowen state is. And after the death, and then where did that unconscious go? The Bowen state gone or is someone, where did they go? It disappeared. I'd like to, uh, for the sake of others, okay, for the sake of our meditation, I like to uh, 
introduce one book newly come out, it is that has newly come, it has come out uh, by Venerable Anna Yu from Hamburg University. The, the name of the book is called Rebirth. He explained this from scientific point of view and from Buddhist script, scripture point of view. He is a professor at Hamburg University, so I recommend this. Okay, so is this fair, like a full question for the phone book? One more question, Pablo. Is this it? I would like to ask in the like a bunny. You have some more questions? No, because uh, we are all we have a type schedule. Oh, sorry. This is not for this testing group. Here for the Woody R and you as well. Let's see if you keep it short so we can continue. If you can direct your question to to the theme, that would be very good. Otherwise, maybe it's not quite fair to others. I appreciate your question. You already answered like a one question regarding to the, this one. I have a, like a one um, regarding to the, this uh, Mudita question. It's like um, I'm uh, also working in the uh, like a medical field, and I work with the other religions, right? Like a uh, people associated with. They they have a um, Pomo. I found it. I'm not really like a. Um, I'm a Buddhist and I follow the like a Buddhist way and teaching way. But Pomo, when do you see that someone in someone who has in that kind of a mind safari, like uh, with the jealousy and insecurity, and those, those, those when you met with that person, and that you close to, and uh, how are you going to make that person getting released from that safari? Um, first, we have to ensure that you are not affected by that person's jealousy. And the way to do that is what we practice is to the karuna, that is uh, compassion, to have compassion for that person because he or she is suffering. And with that, if that person can feel your compassion, you know, they will feel um, less and less threatened. Feeling jealousy means, okay, the person is feeling threatened. Thank you, Pompo. Yeah. Um, the net is out a tele yapi, no? What break my looking? The yard a tele, but now take a tele, that time. Can I know how to do it? Number taken it, number ninety. So we are going to uh, have another session before we take break. Uh, another twenty minutes. Again, we're going to repeat the same exercise uh, from group one to group five. 